Hello, welcome to Perfectly Imperfect. I'm Shauna, and today we are going to do a haul from Mighty Dollar that I think you guys are going to love. Oh, let's get business out of the way first. If you like this video at the end, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and the little bell icon will give you notifications as to when my next video will come up. So be sure to click that. Now let's get to the good stuff. The first thing I want to show you guys are these beautiful glass. I believe they're supposed to be candle hol candle holders. These are from Mighty Dollar. Um, I got the blue and the red and I am going to use these for a craft project that I think is going to be really, really, really cool. And I'll give you a hint. It has to do with Halloween, but you have to wait to see it. So make sure you hit that button. So check these out in that video. But these are a dollar. Everything at Money Dollar is a dollar. So keep that in mind. The next item that I picked up is in the same wheelhouse. They are these glass jars. And I thought these were really, really cute um, for the kitchen. You can put any of your little oils or um, vinegar or anything in it. Um, you could really do anything with these kinds of jars. They just pull up like that and then the cork comes up and out. And then to put it back and then you just clip it down. I picked up one in blue, one in orange. And I love that these have the little handles. You can't fit your finger in there really, but it still gives it a nice design. And then I picked up a green one. Now, I do believe they have one more color there. I cannot remember, but these were my favorites. So these are the ones that I picked up. The next item that I picked up from Mighty Dollar are some picture frames. I love picture frames. I love decorating them, but I really like when you can get some decorative picture frames cheap, but are really good quality. I picked this one up and it is Sheffield Home 4x4 Homegrown Vintage Frames. How rustic and gorgeous does that look? This would be great to any farmhouse decor or rustic vintagey decor that you may have going on. And I could this is really heavy. It's a, it is a heavy frame, so it's definitely good quality. So I only picked up one of these. This was the only one like this that they had, but they do have plenty of them. But it has like almost like a faux wood, and it may even be real wood. I don't think it's real wood, but it has a faux wood finish on the top. The next picture frames that I picked up are... Um, how should I say this? They are a little out there. Um, they're very, very bohemian. Um, they're glittery and just gorgeous. I love these frames. Um, these six trees and these are four by six frames. Now they have, I know for a fact they have at least three different designs. Some of them are more on the red tones. I think one of them was kind of a, like in a blue tone, but this one, this gold and green just popped. I fell so in love with these that I had to pick up two, mm -hmm. just in case. So I did pick up those and these would look great just as a pop of color to your room or anything. The next item that I picked up is also for the home. I picked up one of these home style scents, peach cobbler. Um, and it looks, 
it's not a candle. It says, remove the decorative metal cover to expose the decorative plastic cap underneath. Twist the plastic cap off and remove the Stay Fresh plug. Screw the plastic cap back onto the bottle. Um, and then it says, the decorative metal cover may be reattached when not in use. The fragrance will not be released when the decorative co cover is on the jar. So... I picked one of these up for my kitchen because I don't like spraying air freshener in my kitchen, especially around my pots and pans and my food and just my table, my countertops. I just don't like to do it. So I thought this would be a great alternative in my kitchen to put up. And they do have different scents. Um, this one is peach cobbler, but they had like strawberry preserves. I think they had a grape. Uh, Cinnabon, just all kinds of different flavors. Keeping on that same kind of item, I picked up some of these Hallmark Night Blooming Jasmine Wax Melt for my wax melt. You can almost always find these at Mighty Dollar, and but Jasmine is my favorite scent. It smells so good. So good. And it is Hallmark, so it's not like some of these off-brands that you can find in some of the dollar stores that just once it starts to, the wax starts to burn, you can't smell it. This one has a very strong jasmine scent. So I plan on putting this in my living room because I think it's going to smell amazing. I picked up a couple of signs that the wooden block signs that Mighty Dollar got in. Now, these you can find at Hobby Lobby and places like that, and they're anywhere from $5 to $10, and I just can't pay that for a block of wood with some writing on it. I just can't do it. So when I saw that these were at Mighty Dollar, I had to pick some up. Now, these are Midwest Seasons, and I picked up one that says you and me and it does have a hole in the back so that you can hang it up but they do sit upright as well without falling over i picked up one that says love like crazy and this is a lighter gray than the previous one and then i picked up a wooden one that says say yes when it seems crazy I love, this one is my favorite. This one I'll probably keep. The other two I'll probably give as a Christmas present or a birthday present or something. But this one is my absolute favorite. And they are all three by Midwest Seasons. Isn't that cute? The next item that I picked up was also for the home. And I wasn't sure what this was when I first picked it up until I looked at it and actually read it. It's a Cable Hub Universal Charging Station, and it organizes up to seven cables. So it's one of those things that you can put your cords through here, like if you have a lot of devices. Like for me, I have my phone, I have my Kindle, I have um, a salt lamp that I use beside my bed all kinds of things plugged in beside my bed at night. So I thought this would keep those cords kind of tucked away and out of sight where I don't trip over them when I have to get up in the middle of the night to run to the bathroom because uh, I've had too much water. But I thought these were really cute. They have them in red and black. And I mean, it's nothing special, but it's a great item to have for a dollar for your home. The next item that I picked up is Petty Scrub Foot Buffer in a Sponge, 4-in-1 Beauty Treatment. This, I wish you guys could smell this. It, this one is Sweet Berry. And let me just tell you, it smells so good that it makes me hungry. Every time I smell this, I want fruit. But I've never tried it. So, I have no idea how it works, but I will keep you guys updated and let you know. They had plenty of these, but I do believe they're all in the sweet berry. Um, actually, they may have had a lavender as well. Not sure. 
I'll check that out the next time that I go over there. But this is a Petty Scrub Foot Buffer in a Sponge. Speaking of Kindles, I picked up a new fall uh, travel tablet case by Travelocity. And it's just like a, a little zebra print. Um, this is, it fits all seven to eight inch tablets. So I figured we're getting ready to travel because we're taking my daughter off to college in just a little while. We won't get into that today. But because we're going to be traveling, I thought most of the time my, my um, Kindle just lays on my bedside table. This would be really great. It's very, very cush. It's got a lot of cushion. It has a zipper pocket in the front to where you can add little, like put your cord in there to keep up with it. And it's not rattling around in the same place that your tablet or Kindle is. And it's by Travelocity. And that is a really good brand, especially for a dollar. The next few items that I picked up are going to be, they're, they're crafting items that I use. I did pick up some more of these Paper Mate Ink Joy pins that Mighty Dollar got back not too long ago. They got several, several cases of these in and I picked up some for my daughter because I knew she was going to be going to college and I picked up a few for the house. I love how these write. My husband loves how these write. So does my daughter. So if you're a teacher or even a student or just want some really good cheap pens to keep around your house or office, make a trip to Mighty Dollar and pick you up some of these because let me tell you, they write so smooth, especially in my planner. That's what I use these for mainly is my planners and they don't bleed through. So for a dollar, I, I went to Walmart today and actually found this exact same package at Walmart. And it was, I believe it was, I want to say $8.97, but it could have been in the wrong spot. But they're at least 5 or $6, at least, if not more, if not the $8.97. So for a dollar, go pick you up some of these pens. The next items that I picked up are some stickers. I got some graduation, graduation stickers. Now, my daughter graduated actually last week, um, but because I wanted to wait until I'd done this haul, I waited to do that spread until I showed these. But aren't these just the cutest? They have the silhouettes and the diplomas and the congratulations. I love them. So I'm gonna use these to decorate for the week that she graduated last week because I like to do my planners as a memory planner as well. They also had some Alpha Chips, me and my big ideas, guys, at the Mighty Dollar. You planner girls and guys out there, me and my big ideas for $1 at the Mighty Dollar. And they had several different kinds. Now, I chose to get the purple alphabet. It has the ABCs. And then it also has numbers. Looks like some of them have gotten mixed up a little bit. The sevens, but me and my big ideas for $1. The next items that I picked up are from Art See, um, I've seen these at Michael's before, but I've never really picked up anything by them, but they got these in at Mighty Dollar. And this is a coarse sponge dabber. And I have recently gotten into painting, so I thought this would be a great thing to have for a dollar. So I picked up one of these. And this is from... This one is actually from Momenta, Momenta, and this is a stencil brush. This one is from Artsy, and this one is embellishments. These are glass jars. If you make your own inks or anything like that to do calligraphy, these, these can get expensive. They are glass, 
and they are really, really nice. And I got them for a dollar at where can where where do I where did I get them? Mm -hmm, that's right, Mighty Dollar. So check them out. I picked up two of these because I didn't want to run out. We're coming to the end of the video and of all of my good stuff. So I'm going to show. I got these at Money Dollar as well. These are just some pony beads. This is a 500 pack and they are in the dark pearl color. So I have a craft in mind for these. So you will see these again. The next is just some neon elastic cord and it includes six yards of cording. And it comes in the orange, yellow, pink, and green. I picked up this case of Jewel Tones Acrylic Jewels. There's over 300 pieces. And it comes in a plastic um, mm -hmm, organization container that you can keep even after you've used these. So I picked up one of these because you know I love my crafts. I picked up one of these. These are just paper clips with some cute little animals on them. They are from G exclamation point um, gift for you, a gift for you. And it comes with the, and these just, they're little paper clips. And I do have a craft for these, could you guess? So I picked up two of these. The last couple of things that I got um, from the Mighty Dollar are these O-rings. I got some in pink, green, gold, and black. They are different sizes, but you guys are going to see these soon as well. They had so much craft stuff, guys, so much. The last thing that I got are some Arts and Rings still rings that are a little bit bigger than the colored rings that I had but it's gonna be used in the same kind of project. So I did pick up one of these. They have some that are bigger. They have some that are a little bit smaller. Um, and then of course this size. So if you're looking for any kind of really low budget, low cost craft items that you may need for any crafts that you wanna do, check out your Mighty Dollar because they really get some nice things in. And that is it for this haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the items that I showed, just leave me a message. I will respond as soon as I can. And again, if you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.